Object 4 Rate 3 was created at the Harkov plant No. 75 on the basis of the Holland chassis of the serial T-54B tank. The development of the project took several months. Already at the end of 1959, plant No. 75 began construction of the first prototype. At the design stage, a machine gun in the turret was used as an additional weapon of the tank, as well as two aircraft rocket launchers with 57mm active rocket shells. In the manufacture of a prototype, this technical solution was abandoned for tactical reasons. The OM-250 tank flamethrower was installed instead of the main 100mm D-10 TS gun. There was a 1600-liter tank for fire mixture to the right of the flamethrower attached to the shock absorbers. The volume of the fire mixture tank was enough for about 15 shots. The maximum range of the OM-250 flamethrower was 270 meters. The fire emission rate reached 100 meters per second. The fire shot capacity was increased up to 100 liters. That's the maximum value for jet flamethrowers. The flamethrower allowed firing both in line and single shots at a rate of 5 shots per minute. The prototype Object 483 was tested at the test site in 1961. The main disadvantage of the tank was the lack of a cannon, which greatly limited its use. Due to the presence of infantry anti-tank weapons with a sufficient range of destruction, the use of a flamethrower with a range of 300 meters, even under the protection of armor, practically didn't allow the flamethrower tank to perform a combat task. A flamethrower tank proved to be quite good in two wars, the Soviet-Finnish conflict of 1939 and the World War II, but by the beginning of the 1960s it had exhausted all its advantages. Having created the Object 483, the designers were convinced in practice that the tank loses significantly due to the rejection of the main weapon, the tank gun. Therefore, all work on the combat flamethrower machine Object 4 Rate 3 was suspended in 1962. It became the last flamethrower tank in the USSR. Currently, the only copy of the Object 4 Rate 3 is located in the tank museum in the city of Kubinka. To date, the flamethrower tanks have been replaced by new reactive flamethrower system TOS-1. If you are interested to know more about them, write a comment and we will make a video about this weapon. Well, that's all for today and thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel so as not to miss new videos.